It was a warning that had been passed down from generation to generation in the small suburban town of Willow Creek. The abandoned house at the edge of town was cursed, and no one who dared to enter ever returned the same. Growing up in Willow Creek, I had always been fascinated by the mysterious house. Its dark, decaying walls and overgrown lawn seemed to hold secrets and stories within its very structure. But it was also a place that instilled fear in the hearts of the townspeople. No one dared to venture near it, let alone enter its doors. But one hot summer day, my curiosity got the best of me. I couldn't resist the temptation any longer. Without a second thought, I made my way to the abandoned house. As I stood in front of the towering structure, a chill ran down my spine. It was as if the house was daring me to enter, taunting me with its ominous presence. As I pushed open the creaky door, a musty smell filled my nostrils. I cautiously stepped inside, my heart racing with excitement and fear. The once grand foyer was now in a state of disarray, with broken furniture and shattered windows lining the walls. But something felt off. It was as if I was being watched. Ignoring my instincts, I continued to explore the house. Every room I entered seemed to be frozen in time, as if the occupants had suddenly vanished. But the eerie feeling persisted, growing stronger with each step I took. As I made my way to the second floor, I noticed a faint whispering coming from one of the rooms. My curiosity turned to dread as I pushed open the door to find a portrait hanging on the wall. It was a portrait of a woman with dark eyes that seemed to follow my every move. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the room. Leave now or suffer the consequences. I bolted out of the house, my heart pounding in my chest. I was convinced that the curse was real and I had just narrowly escaped its grasp. From that day on, I avoided the abandoned house at all costs. But the curse of Willow Creek wasn't done with me yet. Despite my efforts to stay away, I found myself inexplicably drawn back to the house, and each time, the experience was more terrifying than the last. One night, as I lay in bed, I heard a faint tapping on my window. My heart froze as I saw a figure standing outside, bathed in a dim green light. It was the woman from the portrait, her dark eyes now glowing with an otherworldly energy. You have entered my home, and now you must pay the price, she hissed. I tried to scream, but no sound escaped my lips. The woman disappeared, leaving me trembling and shaken. From that night on, strange things started happening to me. Objects would move on their own, and I would hear whispers in the dead of night. I knew then that the curse of Willow Creek had latched on to me, and I was doomed to suffer the same fate as those who had entered the abandoned house before me. Now, as I sit alone in my room, I can feel the curse tightening its grip on me. I know that I will never escape the haunting memories of the abandoned house of Willow Creek. It's a cursed place that will forever be a part of me.